Hi, and welcome back to part two of the opening video of the My London Girl doll. I just wanted to show you how she's in the box. It's a little bit different than an American Girl doll. She's actually attached to a piece of cardboard, so you have to kind of pull her forward out of the box, and then you'll see that, whoops, you'll see that she is attached to this cardboard, and you have to untwirl this little metal piece right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that and also show you the little cards that she came with. She came with a coupon which has a free hair care appointment at the actual My London Girl store. I don't think I'll be making it there from California real soon, but it would be fun if you had an overseas friend who lived closer, you could mail it to them as a little surprise present. So let's get her open. It helps to have a dad on hand in case you can't untwist it and you just have to cut it off. Here we go. Enjoy the view of my dad's hairy arms. Okay, so my dad clipped off all those pieces as you saw and there's one last piece which is the final, final thing to get her out of the box and it's this little piece. I don't know if you want to zoom in. It's this little elastic around this plastic piece that I, my hand's in the way but it's right there. And so I'm going to have to take that off. So as you can see, they really packaged her very well. She wasn't going anywhere during her trip. Besides, to my house. <laughs> okay, finally, that part is removed and she's lifting free. Uh-oh, wait a minute. What's stuck? Okay, there's one last little thing I have to unwrap here. We thought we were done, but not quite. <laughs> Just have to get this little metal piece off of her shoes. Looking at this beautiful My London doll, the first thing you notice is the captivating, realistic eyes and the amazing smile. She looks as though she's alive. She doesn't feature sleepy eyes like the American Girl doll, but it doesn't seem to matter because she's so sweet. Also, her headband has a little teeny tiny heart on it with the Union Jack that echoes the picture on her shirt. So she's totally matching. If you close in on her shirt, you're gonna see that it is the same exact pattern and design. One of the special, unique features of this doll is her tennis shoes. She looks like she's ready to go out for a jog. Those tennis shoes look good enough to wear yourself. And she looks comfortable and sweet. So this doll comes with little pigtails, but her hair is supposed to look like this in the picture. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the ponytails and see what her hair looks like. Okay, so we've got the hair out of the ponytails and you can see she has pretty luxurious black curly hair. And I could see how possibly rollers would be a good option to sort of maintain the curl, especially if you plan to brush it a lot. I probably wouldn't recommend brushing this hair too much because I don't know how well the uh, synthetic hair fibers will bounce back. So probably just leave it be. It is rooted hair, so not a wig like American Girl, so it might be a little bit different care. Um, but it seems to be of pretty good quality and it is soft and shiny, so I am pleased with the hair. And one thing I just noticed when taking out her ponytail holders is that her headband is actually attached on with one of those little plastic staple things. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm sure you can cut that off pretty easily, but I would be careful as you don't want to um, accidentally cut off any of the doll's hair. That would be a disaster. Whoops. So yeah, I, I really like her so far. And there's a look at her eyes. They are not sleepy eyes as my mom was saying, but they are very realistic looking. And also the eyelashes do stick out from the eye. I don't know how else to say that, but yeah, they do stand out, which is nice, kind of mascara-like, and there are a few also that are painted on for extra detail, so definitely a fan of that. On to the brochures. She comes with this one large card, which tells a little bit about her and what she likes to do. Obviously, your doll can adapt any personality, but it is kind of fun that they include this kind of like a little info card. And also, they include a little card which talks about how the brand was developed. And I believe it's two sisters who actually developed this brand and opened the first store in London. And I believe it's the only location at this point. And also on the back, 
it shows their affiliates. Some of these brands I haven't heard of before. I believe some of them are actually designers for real people, like I think David Charles is. I might be mistaken, but he also works with the brand Makes Doll Outfits. But yeah, I'll have to look into some of these other brands as I've never heard of them. And then another fun thing is, it comes with this card, which is a free um, hairstyle session or appointment at the My London Girl store. Of course, it is in London, and I don't live there, so I probably won't be able to collect my coupon, but it would be fun to send it to a friend, possibly, who does live there, and they could use it for their doll. And if anything, the picture is cute. So that wraps up this My London Girl Doll review. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below which is your favorite My London Girl Doll if you've seen them before, or which face mold you like the best. I think there's two to choose from. I'm really, really, really happy I picked this doll. I was a little bit stuck between some of the other ones with similar face molds, but all in all, I think this doll is the absolute most beautiful. I'm a little biased, but anyhow, I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!